Hi, welcome back to my channel. I continue to pull from my archives, praying that I will catch up soon. Nevertheless, let God's will be done. This episode is entitled, We Rejected Him First. This is what the Holy Spirit has been impressing upon me for some time. What everyone is seemingly forgetting. God's chosen people were the first to reject him. Then we wonder why calamity overtakes us. Why we are surrounded by haters and those who despise us. Many people do not want to understand or hear the truth of God's word, but this is given to me by the Holy Spirit. Let me remind you before I go on, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. As I give you the word of the Lord, I am doing so without partiality. And we cannot deny that God chose a certain group to be his people and he would be their God. Even though this is true, regardless of who would disagree and hate that it is, and he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on the face of the earth, having determined their, pay attention, appointed times and the boundaries of their lands and territories. As Paul preached the gospel, he knew that God was focused, that all men are created by him. Many people use this next scripture to justify what they eat, but it is used to confirm that we all are made in his image. And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven opened and a certain vessel descending unto him as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth wherein were all manners of four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things and files or fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, rise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. And the voice spake unto him again the second time, what God has cleansed, that call not thou common. This was done thrice, and the vessel was received up again into heaven. Let me reiterate that many use this verse to justify their food choices, which is confirmed also in Scripture. But here God was sending men to Peter that he normally would not have associated with. God had a bigger plan that was later revealed to Peter. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation, he that, now pay attention, feareth him, and worketh righteousness is accepted of him. As I read the word of the Lord, 
knowing who I am in God, being fully aware that we chose to reject him. We chose to have Jesus crucified. We were the first to murder, commit idolatry, forsake the laws, and every other sin that has been committed on this earth after knowing the truth. When the Holy Ghost began revealing this to me, it was a bitter pill to swallow because we like to rationalize that the evils perpetuated against us were the fault of others. And even though they who are not of God will face judgment for the crimes and injustices against God's people as a whole, we must accept the accountability that we were the forerunners in these acts. Forsaking God's laws as given directly to us, perpetuating sin and hate against one another, against our own brothers and sisters. Then we sit back and wonder why we have reaped the consequences of our rejection of the Most High. It does not excuse all the lies and misrepresentations including hiding and distorting history to rob us of our inheritances. So I will instill this reminder and please know that this applies to those who may be by blood, which is even more treacherous, and those who are truly not. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. The word is clear. Those who are chosen, surrendering to God's will, in obedience and faith, being doers of the word and not just hearers, having an intimate relationship, understanding, and awe-fearing reverence of the Lord will see his face in peace. Do not be deceived. This is for every nation, more specifically for every individual. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. And though we try, even our own will reject us. And he reasoned and debated in the synagogue every Sabbath, trying to persuade Jews and Greeks. But when Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, northern Greece, Paul began devoting himself completely to preaching the word and solemnly testifying to the Jews that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed. But since the Jews kept resisting and opposing him and blaspheming God, he shook out his robe and said to them, your blood. Your damnation be on your own heads. I am innocent of it. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. As a nurse ordained by God, used as a vessel, as he saves many lives, I have often longed to care for more of my people. Because that God is not biased and treasures every life, not willing that any would perish, but as the Spirit shows and is confirmed by Paul's experience, many will reject God thinking they are rejecting you. So while you are out there being deceived by the devil and his legions of demons, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and know for a surety Number one, 
If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Number two, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And number three, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Do better. Always coming from a place of love and in truth. And again, I humbly offer you some additional resources as the Lord is bringing them to me. As this prophet has described, given to her from God, so that you may prepare for what is to come. Click the link below. The end times are upon us. And because of my love for the Lord and my family and for you, and the great sorrow that I feel as I see those around me walking in oblivious darkness, I feel compelled to provide celestial teachings to you. So I will be including links to the Master's Voice Prophecy blog here and at benevolentwoman.com.